Hello, I am the Red Monk, and today I will teach you how to give yourself a haircut. And it is surprisingly easy and surprisingly possible to do. And the things you will need is a towel to pick up all the hair that falls off. And I recommend uh, sitting on the floor and then running a vacuum cleaner over where you sat. Just because, you know, this is just to make it so it doesn't get into your clothes. Most of the stuff you're going to cut off your head is going to fall directly to the floor. And you will need, uh, you could have nail scissors. This is just for fine tuning it. And you will also need a big pair, big pair of scissors. This will do the majority of the work. You need a, a hair comb. A hair comb. And you, this is a headband, but if you look, you can see that there's a mini comb on the top, which I will use to cut my hair. And if you're not a barber, the safest way, the safest way to give yourself a haircut is to do the one inch buzz cut. It's not exactly going to be an inch. And, you know, it's really important to see what the end result is. And, of course, there's a lot of few tricks you have to do because, you know, you can always cut off more hair, but you can't, you know, grow hair instantly. So let's say you fuck up and do something really short. You either gotta, you know, cover that shit up if it's small enough, or you have to make everything that short. And a buzz cut or whatever is the same length all around. So uh, another important thing you need is a mirror, you know, so you can see yourself. And it's important you do it on the floor because this shit will get everywhere, especially on a carpet because a vacuum cleaner can get rid of all the hair follicles. So we're going to start by doing that thing where they surround you. Make sure you get your back covered too. Because. Fuck. Look like fucking Yoda. So, uh. There's that. And we're going to start by working inwards. It's. The longer you take, the easier it gets. If you rush this, you'll cut off more hair than you actually need to, and you look fucking ugly. And with it. A buzz cut is an inch all around, so it's pretty, pretty freaking consistent. So, let's start from the top just to warm up. This is stuff will fall on the floor. So, you see, that's some hair. Make sure it's consistent. Work for about an inch and a half. Line it up. We will find you and everything. This is taking everything. So if we want to get an inch, we're going to go for an inch, inch and a half all around and just cut down all the excess stuff. I recommend doing an inch and a half because there's more wiggle room. It won't be as precise, but you never know if you don't go. Another important thing is make sure you have a, a good pair of scissors because this is not a good pair of scissors and a crucial thing is that if you are doing this, if your parents are downstairs and you don't want to walk into the room with half your hair cut off. So, I mean, if you get a bad pair of scissors, you kind of got to commit to it. Right, so that's for, that's for the easy mode cucks. The real uh, way to cut your hair is just to take a lob of it and just pull it tight and zip it. But go for like an inch in 75. If you want to go for an inch, you have to go for an inch 75 because it's always easier to cut off hair than to actually um, go for it. And an uh, inch is a lot smaller than what you think. Like a lot of people think an inch is a lot. And you start a whole fucking lot. Yeah, it's very crucial to leave an uh, inch and a half if you want to go for an inch. Just because our no us novices aren't going to cut it specifically as we want. 
but just take it slow. Okay, just enough of that bangs. The top of the head is the hardest part. So for the top and uh, back sides of our head, it is the most difficult part because our eyes are facing forward. And even with the mirror, I can't see into it. Now, you could technically get a second mirror, look down at the mirror, and have it go that way. But, we do not have a second mirror. So, we're just going to try to feel it out. And, when you feel it out, you're going to watch for your ear, because you do not want to cut your ear. So, uh, make sure you know where your ear is at all times. Make sure you know where your ear is at all times. And, start from the root. Move out an inch 75. Yep, that was good. And, uh, like I said, if you're just going to make a certain cut, a certain large cut, you go for an inch and a half. If you want to go for an uh, uncomfortable cut, like a lot that you're doing it this way, go for an inch 75. And we're aiming for one inch. Could go even less if you wanted to. And in fact, it's a lot easier to go for less, but it's not that bad. Always check your work throughout. Back of you, if your head's the same thing, except for it's easier because you don't got to worry about your ear. So, put the scissors, put the scissors at the bottom of your hair, right against your head, and push it out. Because you know, when you comb your hair, you go out. So if you stick your scissors in, and then push down to feel the distance, you will scuff up the hair, and like, push some hair down, and not cut all of it. So, stick it in right above your head like it's a comb. Open, move out inch 75, I recommend uh, then always like put your uh, hair like kind of go like this a little bit to get out all the hair because it's kind of hard to work. So you, know, you always want to work pretty fresh. So ah, and always use a mirror if you can. Like I can use a mirror pretty well here actually. Like it's about an inch right there. You can stick your hand out two inches and cut right under your hands. Your scissors suck ass. And it's the most crucial. If you're uncertain, you know, you can just cut just a little bit. You know, you can, if you're uncertain, just cut a little bit and see how it feels. And then, you have experience for that area. And like I said, yeah, you want to work around your head. You want to get every spot. And you just want to, like, let's say this is the height of your front, bangs, side, back. Move it down, you know, together. Because if you just take off a lot at once, it's a lot harder. So I'm going to slowly work towards what I want. And that's trimming. That's how you trim. You know, you just got to form it. It is truly an art form it is. Another thing about your towels, make sure when you're cutting your back, always make sure that the towel is, this is wrapped around each other because you don't want it to get in between the thing because hair is freaking itchy. Especially if you have thick hair like your monk, truly.
It's a lot of fucking hair I just cut right there. You know, I always wondered why we called hair hair. It just sounds so, like, gnarly. You know, it just sounds so... It sounds like fucking eat through one whole shit out of the other eat type shit. I like... But, like, fur kind of sounds like a furry thing, you know? And furries are kind of weird. They're not, like, super weird, but they're not normal. That's not a bad thing. Like, I'm not normal. But... My brother's a freaking furry. I don't judge him for it. He likes, uh... Foxes. He's getting this fucking fursuit for, like, multiple racks. Like, three racks he spent on this freaking suit. But hey, you know, God bless. Like, a lot of people, like, are really difficult to him. And it's just, like... Who gives a shit, you know? Like, the fuck you're gonna tell someone else how to live their fucking life, you know? Just because it's weird. And you would never do it yourself. Why judge another man? You know, as long as you're not, like, fucking killing our atmosphere or killing children or actively fucking over other people, There's no reason to, like, judge anyone for really anything. Uh, as you cut, some hair might get stuck in between the, like, the root of the blades pull it out because it'll pull the scissor blades away from each other and the tighter they are the better it cuts so Now, you might be wondering why I am going in dry. And, you know, when you go to, like, a barber, they'll, like, they'll wet your hair before they cut it. But it's important to note that, you know, you don't, your hair looks different from when it is wet and it's dry. And your end goal is to see it when it's dry, right? And barbers are more experienced and they can, like, know how uh, wet hair looks when it's dry. But, you know, us unexperienced barbers don't know how, what our hair looks like when it's dry, when it's wet. And since our end result is something that is dry, and we just work around and work to what our vision is, it's important that we can see how the end result will look. So yeah, I know it cuts a little bit easier. You can cut more at once and it's faster if you do it when it's wet. But it's a lot more, uh, you're a lot less likely to have you know, giant chunks if you're doing it while it's wet. Because we don't know how wet hair is affected. It's just, you know, it's just close to your head and damp. That's about it. I guess if you want to be technical, what you could do is you could, next time you get a haircut by an actual barber, you get it wet, take a picture of your head from all sides and the top, and then next time it grows out, and you want to cut it, just make it wet, and then look at the short hair photos and work towards that. But I mean, you know, dry hair is a lot more puffy, 
so the differences are a lot more robust as you know wet hair sticks to your fucking head so it's a lot harder to tell the difference between uh because there's just less of it you know there's less space to be taken up that's less information I mean, you shouldn't really be cutting a whole lot of hair at once, you know? I mean, don't do, like, little snippets. Especially when you start out, you just want to chop that shit off. But, I mean, if you're just towards where I am, it's important to not play it too risky. So, yeah. The more time that passes as you cut your hair, the smaller chunks you want to take off. But, I swear to God, you'll, like, cut everything down and take a look. And then there's fucking giant blobs still there. It's best to have, like I said, it's a, it's a lot faster to cut the hair than for the hair to grow back if you make a mistake. So always cut a little bit and then work in. Like, that last half inch right now is what we're working out. Damn, I should have got some talc. I should have got some talc. Because I'm fucking itchy. My fucking neck. Now, for the back part, I'm sure you know that a lot of barbers will, like, do a circle or some shit. But we're just going to do whatever you naturally have because we're doing it by feel. So just at the very bottom, just cut all that shit off. I'm probably going to go in with the razor at the end at the back of my neck. Fuck. Okay. This is not especially bad. Don't let your scissors get away from you because if you cut a little bit too much, it'll go right for the fucking root if you're working the wrong angle. So. Wow. This went really well. So I got my hair pretty freaking short. Not anything too, too special, but it's pretty darn diggity short. So if you look at my bang, that shit ain't particularly even. So let's let me get the scissors. And if you ever trimmed your pubes, it's the exact same thing. Go for straight lines. Wow. This is not bad at all. I am actually surprised. You know, when I think this, I thought there, there was a genuine chance that I would have fucked up. There was a genuine chance that this could have looked like shit. But it, it's not bad at all. So, wow. I got some shit over my ear I'll take care of. There's a few, uh... If you want to trick anyone to think that you got a barber to do this, it is crucial to... Have straight lines and not have. I'm gonna move the light. It won't look as good, but I need to see. So, fuck.
I'm sure you can't even tell, but I have like two uh, really bad cuts right here and here. But it's actually impossible to tell. It's not. It's really hard to tell. I didn't make mistakes. I mean, it could just be the lighting. Shine my light directly. I mean, that is pretty. All right. It's probably a blemish right here, but just rub it in. Fuck me. That's not too bad. It's not too bad. It's not too bad. I gotta tough it right here. You know, it's kind of hard to tell the difference from this from an actual uh, haircut. So, we took a lot off. Doesn't look too uh, clean, but I'm like swimming in this shit. Probably gonna go through the vacuum cleaner, but I'll probably just get the handfuls done. So, I mean, there are a few places I could do some work, like around my ears. top of my head but I kind of get tunnel vision if I work on something for too long so I'll come back to it in a few hours after I upload the video uh, thank you for watching good luck with your uh, barbermanship <laughs>